thing I wanted to show you is we have the Fallout New Vegas Official Guide Collector's Edition and the Fallout 4 Collector's Edition Fault Dweller Survival Guide. So, we have all sorts of uh, great resources there. I think I lent my copy of um, of my Fallout 3, which is like this thick, by the way, uh, my Fallout 3 guide to a friend, so I will contact them and see if they still have it. Um, but, uh, yeah. So we will, uh, we will have a, have a guide on our way through the waste if we absolutely want to just do some, some all the things. Um, now, both of those guides uh, do not reference the DLCs, so obviously we'll figure that out on our own. Um, I think my camera's delayed. Yeah. All right, let me fix my webcam, and then we'll jump right into Fallout 2. Surface of the sun. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Let me bring in the audio. Let's swap scenes here. Go here. All right. We're going to load our save Susie load. Um, this centaur was attacking us. I believe. Okay, at least this alien was. And I'll have to wait for them to come to us. Oh, we could have shot them. I'm, I'm a dingus. I keep forgetting range is a thing. <clears throat> oh, we've got grenades out. We'll re-equip that. Because we can, in theory, because we have 10 action points, do this. And then swap over here. And do this. So we can get some consistent damage going on the alien. Because the alien is much harder to kill than the centaur. <clears throat> Well, the alien may have put him himself in a dangerous place, because I think we might build a, yeah, always reach it there. So as long as we can do some good, consistent damage. Sorry about that. <coughs> cool. Alien down. Took three hit points and knocked down itself. Wow. 
That should be it for the centaur. Yep. All right, quick save. Yes. Hello, Susie. Let's say we're about to get attacked by this thing. <clears throat> Go ahead and reload it. And call that that. Ah, I figured he was going to join the fray. That's fine. Oh, that's not. That's less fine. Wonder if we can make it to the stairs. Alright, Susie did not come along. Come on, man. Really? Oh no. I knew that was gonna happen. Great, they get another oh, yeah, of course, because the weird weird initiative thing. All right, we need to heal. <laughs> this isn't going to be fun.
Man, I wish these things didn't have so much health. All right, we can do this. <clears throat> this is going to take a little bit of, a little bit of patience. Please be dead. Nope. Good. All right, that one's down. Let's go for this one next. Okay. Well, that could have gone worse. The, the optimal strat is we do a good amount of damage with the hammer, we swap to the sniper rifle, do a good amount of damage with the sniper rifle, which that's not a great amount of damage, and then we rinse and repeat that till they're dead. But we'll see how that goes. And if we miss the first shot... Then we just take swings around the... Around this place, okay. There it is. Which is not great for us, because when you're on the ground, they get... Oh, well, that could have gone worse, I guess. Silver linings. Dead? Perfect. You next. Okay, we can't shoot that one, so we'll go ahead and hit that guy. So we'll be able to take the floater out next. And that'll just leave us and the other alien. Hey, Lady Tardis. Uh, it's going all right. Basically, um, once we get this lady upstairs, we'll be heading to the last area of the game, which we can complete without 
with, with only having to do one thing of combat, but we can get a lot of assistance for that one thing of combat. So we're, work, we're working on finishing up the game, and then we're going to jump right into uh, Fallout 3. So, But unfortunately, we have to kill most of these nasty creatures down here so that Susie will follow us upstairs. I actually use it to put some damage on this guy. This guy put him in the worst place for, for melee. Oof. But yeah, we're not doing too bad. Not doing too bad. How about you? How are you doing today? Oh, we need to reload. Which means we can't fire that. Which means we'll just take a couple, well, take a pot shot at him. Oof. Knocking us off our feet is not great. Oh, cool. Another head. Once the floater dies, this will... There we go. That'll simplify it. Now it's just one person hitting us. And they're stuck here with us, so they can't get away from the might of our hammer as we smack it repeatedly in the face. It can, however, knock us on our own, but... Alright, we're going to go ahead and go safe here. Use a few more... Stim packs. That should be good. Nice loss of turn, that's what we like to see. Alright. Cool, level up. That is exactly what we were hoping for. Thanks for all your help. I'll go find Badger. Make sure she's not still down there. There we go. I was blocking her stairways. Cool. <laughs> Alright. Each is good. Hmm. 
Mm, like it's eight. Okay, we'll we'll go with that. Wait, what? It costs three to level up. Yeah, it does. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Yep. Now she's over here. Let's go talk to Badger. Tell him, hey, put the fuel in. Once the fuel's here, onward to the last area. I have some questions. Looking for some fuel I can take again here at the mainframe. Can you? Yeah, but it'll cost you. What's your price? I think I like you enough that I can do it for now. What, what do you want? Who do you want me to visit? She. I can get them. They're pretty protective of their info and got them serious eyes protecting their machines. Are you sure you're going after them? Yes. Transfer the fuel from their reserves to the tanker. Check with me in a day and I'll let you know. What is this? Electronic lockpick. <laughs> Not bad. Okay. Was hoping she might have some like lockpicks or something, but or not lockpicks, but uh, stem packs. Let's talk to guns here. Sure, show me what you got. Ooh, super stem packs, perfect. And regular stem packs. Alright, we can do 8400, I believe. We should have these, yeah. Oop. Yeah, it's 14,000, that's what I thought, okay. Um, is there anything else you can throw in there? Um, what is this? That might worth, be worth picking up. Do we have any jet, or did we get rid of it all? Okay, cool. We'll take one of those as well, because we might use jet for the final battle. Um, no, I think two, three, cool, um, anything else we can pass? We have the first aid book, alcohol, what is this, psycho, what does psycho do? Combat potential? Eh. Alright, cool. And then we'll take... ...68. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I keep forgetting that my numpad does that. I need to change that. That is something... Whee! This is what happens when you do that, too. On. Yeah, yeah, I did the math right. Offer. Perfect. Alright, once we get out of the dialogue, it'll fix itself. <coughs> Same. It's a weird, it's a weird bug, but... Fine. Alright, so check back with him in a day. So... Rest until noon. And then rest until noon again. Should be good. Did you get what I needed?
needed. Yeah, I got the fuel. Thanks a lot. I don't care about anything else, friend. As long as we got the fuel, we got the power. Let's get going, shall we? Go. Oh, check status. Wait, navigational computer not? What does that mean? Check status. Oh, maybe we have to use the thing on it. Wait. Why, why can we not? All it said it needed before was fuel. I have comp parts left. What? Third level of Vault 13. Do we not have the Navcom parts? Oh, we do. Okay. Oof. I thought we were going to have to make our way all the way back to 13. Go. Wait, what? I, I'm, I'm confused. Use item. Navcom parts. That does nothing. Where do the Navcom parts go? Okay, it's not this computer. There's apparently another set of computers. Oh, I see. They're the ones over here. My guess is... Yep, that's what I figured. All right, so the place we went and saved Susie is going to have a way up there, so we might have to get in a few more fights. But we can we can do it. We can manage. We got this. We've got to get a ladder here, Navcom parts in the computer, back up, then we start it. This game is just drawing out our ending here. It's right here can do this right we might be able to avoid combat now nah, we're gonna have to fight so we're gonna have to fight this alien unfortunately we might have to fight his friend too 
Yeah, his friend from up there. Well, if we have to fight all three of them, we'll have to fight all three of them. You can't go this way because the forklift's blocking, so you have to go all the way around like this. So they make sure that you clear this place before... You will not stop us. We will end this game, aliens. Of course. I hate the knockdown so much. Because it takes movement to get up. <coughs> I should only be able to attack once. These guys have a lot of HP. It's fine. We gathered healing stuff, so. Okay, we had to get up so that that unfortunately makes it impossible for us to save. If we don't have to get up, we can save at the start of our turn, but if you use any action points whatsoever, you can't save. So, like, we can quick save here. We're not doing too shabby. Once this guy goes down, that, that cuts their damage potential down by a third. And he should be going down soon. A few more hits. Because we've been doing some pretty solid hits. Because, see, basically, when all three of them are around us, they get nine strikes. If we knock one away, they only have the potential for eight strikes. If we knock two away, that's the... Uh, that'd be two, two, and three, which is seven strikes. Right, so it's it's... It's in our benefit to, if we can, but now of course we get like a 75% chance to hit these guys for some reason. Um, to actually knock each one of them away. But it's more beneficial to focus one, kill it as quickly as possible so that they lose three instead of trying to, trying to reduce it by three, right? That that's that's why I'm if you're wondering why I'm taking this combat like this and not like hitting all of them and spreading the damage out is because if I take out one, then they only have six hits. And then if I knock that one back, they only have five hits, right? So mathematically it's in my best interest to make sure that one of them dies, because that's consistently three that would be knocked off. And then of course focus one again. That's one knocked off until they die. So, like, there we go. They just lost three attacks per round. And they're going to lose another one every time I knock this one back. Because the more chance they have to strike, the more chance they have to critically strike. And critical strikes knock us down, which gives them the potential for more damage. But that's something to keep in mind. Sometimes they don't slide away, which is good, because that means we can put more damage down in the second hit will do the knock away. So now that one's out of range. And this is where we can kind of split our focus. So now they're only going to get two. So this should be a max of four strikes apiece. Or four strikes per round. 
But that's also something we have to keep in mind too, is there is the potential we, we just miss because, you know, random chance and all that. And if we miss two strikes, again, that's still the potential of only five attacks around. Okay, cool. That's another three off the board. So now just the three attacks of this one, which will be two on a sliding hit and that gives us a chance to use this rifle which has more potential for damage but about the same potential for damage as our hammer so now he only has two attacks per round but we do want to stick with the hammer because if there's the potential of a not slide like a, a just a basic knockdown um we can reach again now of course we can and probably to our benefit is to forego the sliding like this and just keep hitting it against the wall so that we can consistently get three hits right that that's the strategy for the single target combat here is because we have knocked back knocking it against the wall gives us a chance to hit 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 now that was a really strong hit that was 49 points so that dropped that very well cool another level up exactly what we wanted um, we could go for Stonewall. Not sure how big the... Ooh. 10% of science. Um, before we do that... Where is repair? Okay, we could go... We could get an extra AP. That doesn't do much for us, but it is a potential. This unfortunately, even though it does say melee attacks, it does not actually give us extra damage. Um. Perception would help us go quicker in combat, but I, if I read correctly, there should only be one more thing of combat. Uh, here and now, this would be great for trying to get our science up, because basically the higher science it is, the more we can get access from the computer. Uh, Life Giver. Life Giver would have been good early on, but Master Thief, Mr. Fix-It. This could be good too, just a straight extra 10%. Um, quick pockets, also great two action points instead of four, which means that, you know, we could, we could get in our pockets and do stuff more that way. I think, I think Stonewall is probably our best bet, but I don't know if we're gonna be dealing with much knockdown. Charisma is also a solid choice because there will be a lot of talking. Endurance, obviously a solid choice for the HP. <coughs> and also some other stuff. So any of the stats are definitely like a good thing. The Mr. Fix-It would be good for the extra 10% science, which again we'll need if we... If you have 150 science, you can get all the, the crazy information you need from the computer on the place that we're about to go. I don't think if we... Let's see, where's it at right now? So if we add 10 to that, it would be 18. It'd be 125. And that'd probably be the max that we could do anyways. 
So I don't think like that would give us extra information, but it wouldn't get us all the information. Let me let me double check. See what what we need. Just double check some things real quick. Trying to see if science is going to play a... So, yeah, it looks like... Looks like all that gives us is... The information about the compound's weak spot. So, I don't, what I think we're going to go, I think we're going to go Charisma. Charisma is going to be the important one here. We're going to go High Charisma, High Speech. Um, because it's going to be more important on, uh, talking to somebody near the end. We do need to make sure we have a thing on hand just in case it doesn't work, but... Okay, use this thing, I guess, to open the door. Magnetic key. Ah, okay, so this is what the key fob was for. Wondering. It's like we didn't even use it. Where is our fob? But near the top, and I just missed it. Big glowing red thing. Like, I. Yep, there it is, right there. Cool. Let's go. <clears throat> Fire nav comp installation. Great. Now 
nav computer navigational computer online even better save again anything down here we need no let's check these bones real quick though all right so before we take off there is one thing i want to grab from the weapons vendor as a contingency plan It's an absolute, like, last, last ditch effort. Make sure that we get what we need to get done, done. Oh, wait, do they not? Oh, they don't. What is that? Mega power fist, nice. Okay, they don't, they don't have it. Maybe, I know someone had it. Can't get there because there's someone blocking the door. Thank you. Please say you have them. Yep, there they are. Boop. Okay, maybe, maybe not all of them. Um, how much for these? Do you have anything else? Okay, we can't throw grenades to save our life, so... Clear out our inventory a bit. Oh, we never helped the mine. Oops. Alright, that's good enough. Perfect. Alright, the expo explosives are the absolute last ditch. If we can't convince that guy to do the thing we want, we can just blow it up ourselves. <laughs> One way or another. This place is going down. Lord Kingdom come. In indeed. Yeah, we're gonna... Go. Just hit the gas. Let's go. <laughs> ain't broke don't fix it full speed ahead let's go oh no
Do do do. Here we come to destroy your base. Welcome to the Enclave. Let's go. Level up. Okay, I was mistaken. We would get another level up. That's fine. Okay, and one in repair. Done. All right. Let's do a save here. We're going to put it right at the top. Oil rig. That didn't look good. There we go. Oil rig. Here we go. As long as we have power armor on it, it said we can uh, kind of go on up in here. Oh, boy. Look at all that danger. All right, we're going to quick change our quick save to two just in case something happens and we need to go back for safety's sake. Okay. Ooh, fancy. Okay. Okay, I must say, wait, there's a... I want to get in there. I want to know what's in them lockers. Bazooka! More bazooka! More bazooka! Wait, are all these just bazookas? No, that's a Gatlin gun? Personal minigun, yeah. Sniper rifle? No, 
a laser rifle. Blee issue. What's this? Plasma rifle. Energy weapons is its own thing, right? Yeah, okay. Just wanted to make sure. Oh, cool. More plastic explosives. Just in case. Sometimes, sometimes you just gotta see for an oil rig. You know. You know how it is. Pretty gun ammo. Grenades are not our forte, because thrown weapons are also their own subcategory. No nope, energy. Ah, more explosives. Can never have too many explosives. Okay, and that's just the Brotherhood of Steel armor. Alright, we should be able to use this computer, right? Wait, what am I missing? It said that we could get some information. High enough to examine a computer terminal in the entrance hall or other ones similar ones found throughout the base. Let's go back. I don't I don't remember seeing a computer terminal near the entrance. Also there's some looks like there's some storage here as well. What computer terminal? We tried this one. Maybe it means down here? Ooh, they look important. Hey, it's our people. Ah, oh, here we go. The, these, probably. Let's see what else we can find in here. Stim packs would be nice. Grenade. Minigun ammo. Or like a super super sledge. That'd be really cool. Don't know if that's a thing, but that should be a thing. The heck is that? Oh, caseless. Nice. Okay. Okay. What about in here? Personal minigun. Got it. Alright. Through this door, around, and there. Now we have to make sure there's something very important. We have to make sure that we don't download the help so that we can deal with something later on. Seems an apricot brand terminal It's running something called Fallout 2. Wow. Looks like it's multiplayer and 3D. Wait, Fallout 2 is multiplayer? Why nobody telling me this? Um, okay, I'm confused. It says, High enough science examining the computer terminal at the entrance hall or other someone's found the base. Reveal all the information right away. This is our science. Science is 109. We should still be getting... Means this one. The 
Did they change that? That's weird. Maybe you have to have a high intelligence too or something, I don't know. Chosen one, how did you careful? Do not touch the blue wall. I think the machine that feeds it is beneath us. Destroy it so we may escape. If you destroy the machine, we will find the ship. Hurry, there are not many of us left. Men came to our village in flying machines and took us. There were others too, from the Holy Thirteen. I thought we were safe. I thought we were going to heaven. Mm. Then they brought us here. <clears throat> well, they have killed most of us with something they call FEV. They will kill us all before they are through. Do you know what must be done, Chosen One? That is what they call it. They stick needles into our skin like stim packs. But then terrible things happen. Then the skin bubbles like maggots beneath it. You must destroy the machine and kill the devils in this place. We will meet you outside. All right. A way to open the door. Got it. All right. I have a feeling we need to talk to this guy. Okay, maybe not. Hmm. Anything in here? No, okay. Let's get out of here then. Well, maybe we can go here. Okay, I get maybe maybe that's it. Maybe we just don't have the the intelligence for it or something, which is kind of silly, but it happens. All right, so Some more stairs over here.
I am super confused here. Maybe this one. All right, hold on. I'm trying to figure out where... Because we need to go down here. Where is this guy? Are you the overseer? Don't use the turning wire. Used to be the overseer. Blah blah blah. Don't blame me on showing this over here, kicked my ass. How long ago was that? Say about 80 years. Ah, okay, so there's 80 years. Return to the event and shame. Let me ask you something else. Nice outfits. Front door. Here's the security code, they just opened. Ah, okay. What are your people doing here? Kind of virus. Thought the FEV toxin does horrible things, it kills them. Only good thing about it is that it kills so quickly, it's painful though. Sounds nasty. Why are you using your people for a test? They took soul from the vault because they wanted to test subjects for the antidote. They need people outside the enclave. They took you from where? Okay. Bunch of people get here. Vault, which vault? I'm there to ask for a from people, but you're already gone. Only the Gek remained. A couple of them, you're welcome to one. All those troopers loading one in the Geks and the Vertibird. You know where they put it. Barrier level just below this one, I think. Thanks, I better get going. Wait, you've got to get us out. How do I do that? Turn off the forcers, I think you're going to have to turn off the main power supply. How the heck am I going to manage that? I've been listening, I think the power reactor is controlled by a large computer three levels below us. If you manage to blow that up and turn off the power, we can go free. I can use my explosives to blow up the computer, and then you can run topside to my ship. I'll be right behind you. 
Okay. Of course, I won't let anybody stay trapped. Okay, how do we... How do we get to the lower floors, though? Oh, there's a stairway right there. I'm just oblivious to the obvious, apparently. The stairs nearby lead to the access, which solve the trap room puzzle. All right, puzzle time. Okay. Oh boy. Cool. Impacts. Gonna need them apparently. What's this stuff? Hey, there's another gek. Oop. Oop. We'll take that stuff. Alright, so now we need to go to the middle terminal. So we need to go to this one then. Do what we have in this room. Ooh, super stem packs. Definitely a definitely a yes from us. Okay. Power armor. Oh, hold on. Oh, 
Oh no. Oops. <laughs> I didn't think about taking the armor off as a issue. That was on me. I was trying to get the Mark II armor. How oh, cool, we can carry it. Go ahead and use one of our super stems we just got. Also, what does Mark II do? 15, 19, 16, 15, 20. Ah, okay, so yeah, it just it looks it looks the same, but it effectively just gives us more. Uh it strengthens where it's weak, effectively. Alright, you can go in there. Let's continue to go through these, and then we'll use a super stem and figure out how we're supposed to get through here. What is that thing? Oh, Gauss rifle. Nice. All right. So, inventory. Where's the super stems? There they are. Use that. Quick save. Alright, I think we fixed it. Because now we can go through here. And then we should be able to use this computer. There we go. computer in here? No? That doesn't help. I think we have to get to this computer as well. We're gonna die to the floor. 
Yeah, let's, we'll just go ahead and eat the death. Let's load. We just open this door? Am I just a dingus? Oh, yes. I am just a dingus. You just open the door. <laughs> Alright. So we had that we had that solved <laughs> already. But I didn't I thought we were looking for another switch. Alright. Quick save. Use the stairs.
How do you actually get to... How do we get there? How do we get to the reactor? Oh, people are dying because of the, the virus. Great. Still don't know how to get in here. Everybody did. Well, everybody not wearing power suit armor. How do we? I'm still so confused. Like, how do we get in here? Okay, so you, you don't get there. Okay, so this is kind of a red herring. What it actually is, is here.
you just wait for those to go off. See, I was confused because I'm like, okay, there's obviously this right here. All right, 10,000 experience. Done. Nine minutes, all right, cool. That's what... All we needed to do... Trying to get back to my people. Genetically engineered. That's what he is. Secret Service agent Frank Horgan. He's half machine. That sounds like bad news. That he is. It's worse. He's going to mop the floor with you. He's tough, fast, and just plain mean. I've seen the likes of mutants. I'm a mutant. Um, what did he do? I don't like to talk about it. It gives me nightmares. Let's just say... That those walls aren't covered with rust, exactly. Let's take a year, I pity. They're all dead men unless, unless what? Unless you help me get past Oregon to get to my ship. Okay. Can't talk for everyone. My squad will, and I will do our best to put him away for good. I don't want good thinking. Okay. I don't... I don't... Okay. It's over. Time for talking's over. Wait. Yeah, the, so the <sighs> yeah, but so there's no way we win this fight with all these turrets, but the thing said we're supposed to be able to turn those off.
All right, hold on. See, we're supposed to be able to use this terminal, but it won't let us. Okay. Somebody says you need six intelligence to to use the terminal. Which is why I bought these. Log on. List users, presidential override, counterinsurgency, activate counterinsurgency protocol. There we go. Okay. We were just too dumb to use the computer. Which is why I bought the Meditants, because I'm like, if we have to be smarter to do this, we're going to have problems. First, we're going to quick save. 
here. Before we move up and get absolutely blasted by this person. Oh, he took out one person. No, I knocked him down. Okay. I think that guy is using like a Gauss rifle. Oh, that hit me. That hit me too. That hit me too. You know what? I think I'm gonna. I'm just gonna move back here. Yes. Yeah, that Gauss rifle, dude, that is doing work. Of course, so are these turrets. Oh, I think he's dead. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sir, sir, I'm gonna need you to just, just die. Oh, I think we could, we could talk to him there. But, uh, no, I just, I just, I just need you to die there, friend. Cool. Hey, bonus rate of fire. Each range that will an attack is less one eight one AP less to perform. Oh, that's kind of cool. Plus three to perception random encounters when determining placement. Okay. There's some cool stuff that we comprehension. Gain 50% more skill points. Earlier sequence. In combats before your opponents, sequence plus two for each level. Oh, that's super helpful. Plus two skill points. Oh, well, we couldn't get that early. Oh, some of this probably popped up because of, we have a boosted intelligence right now. That's probably it. Um, actually, we have a lot of boosted stats right now. Hmm. So, for future reference, seeing how we're about to beat this game... Um, if you want to get access to cool perks early on, get you some some drugs. Now, of course, they are addictive and that'll cause issues for your character, but we there's a bunch of these that we did not have access to because we did not have a high enough stat for them. So good to know that that is that is how that worked. Um, I think we're just going to. You know what? Life giver. Sure, why not? Finish it off with some extra HP. All right, done. Done. All right, quick save. Yes, yes, yes. Can we loot him? No, he just he just a dead. He 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 did dead. All right, I need to get to my people. Unless this is closed. No way to open the door. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, they're going to meet us on the boat. All right, so we should be able to get out of here. Yes! We did it! We beat Fallout 2! I was a little on the fence there, I'm not going to lie. I did not I did not think we were going to be able to do it. I did not. It was. It was really rough. But we did it. Goodbye, Enclave. We totally won't see you, you know, again. Ever.
All right, we're probably not gonna get an excellent ending here. Not unlike the first one, we didn't do everything, but uh, we'll see what we do. We'll, we'll, see, we'll see what we do. We did do some good stuff. Like we did save some people. So like, at least that should play a part here. After the Enclave's destruction, the refugees of Arroyo and Vault 13 resettled, building a new community with the aid of the Garden of Eden Creation Kit. Good stuff. ...hundreds of miles from their vault. The members of Vault 13 chose to join the villagers in establishing a new community, and their technical expertise, combined with the villagers' survival skills, allowed the new settlement to grow and prosper. Good stuff. Two generations of the same bloodline were reunited, and their savior, the Chosen One, became Elder. Okay. The village in the years to come. Very cool. Metzger's slave trade in the den expanded greatly, giving mm. and power throughout most Unfortunate. of the breeding pens were started, and eventually no one was safe from the threat of being enslaved. Travelers avoided the den, hearing of the evils committed. Should have should have killed him, but combat is impossible, so in the years to come, Vault City suffered greatly from raider attacks. Eventually, the situation grew so desperate, the citizens were forced to request aid from NCR. Within a month, a large detachment of the NCR's military was stationed in Vault City. Mm -hmm. The military presence quickly became an occupation force, and Vault City became the first of NCR's border territory. Mm, that's kind of a better sweep there. The Mordino family grew greatly in power as Jet's influence spread across Northern California. Within a year, they had seized control of New Reno and expanded their empire, absorbing the Den and other surrounding areas. There was little violence in the conquest, as Jet had weakened all resistance to Mordino rule. Mm. Though the Wright family never completely recovered from Richard's death, the knowledge that their killer had been brought to justice eased their troubled sleep. Cool. Optimizing Gecko's reactor created a power surplus in Gecko. The Vault City Council, unable to expand because of their limited power supply, yielded to internal pressure and was forced to take over Gecko to control the reactor. The peaceful ghouls of Gecko became slaves. Mm. The rest of their lives. That's unfortunate. The, Vault City. the gold producing town of Reading soon found itself in the unenviable position of a scrap of meat being torn by three jealous vultures. Yeah, I, we didn't even vi visit Redding. There was nothing left of the scrap that was once Redding. For Vault City, New Reno, and the New California Republic had laid waste to what was once an area of plenty. Nothing now exists but the desiccated husk of what was once Redding. Shortly after your last departure, the powder keg of racial tension in Broken Hills exploded. Racist humans fought against mutants, ghouls, and humans who sided with the because humans. because we couldn't fix the mine. The survivors of the battle destroyed the mine, ensuring yeah. that humans could profit by it, and disappeared into the waste. We didn't have any way to protect ourselves. I the failure of diplomacy at Vault 15 slowed the New California Republic's growth into the north. Embarrassed by the failure. President Tandy was replaced by Roger Weston. When the new government finally returned to Vault 15, they found nothing but a ghost town. Okay, so that's... The squatters of Vault 15 continued their meaningless, non-productive lives. No one noticed when the desert wastes finally claimed the squat. Aww. The she flourished, creating a botanical scourge on the radiation surrounding their beloved town. Though this vine could not grow in other soils, the she took care to nourish it in their lands. They didn't, they didn't even interact with them. Strength and prominence, forming the basis of a new empire. As for the tanker vagrants, well, as vagrants do, they drifted on. Hmm. Alrighty, we can't let that play. Do you wish to continue playing? Yeah. Why not? Alright, let's do a save. We did it. 
All right. It's a game. There we go. All right, let me switch over here real quick. So that was Fallout 2. We did it. We beat it. We missed out on a bunch of stuff. Didn't quite get the things finished we wanted to get finished just because it's just it's too much with the random encounters. I just could not continue to keep playing that stuff. It was just so hard to get around and all of that. But we did beat it. We did beat it, which was the goal. Um so I do recommend finding uh, if you're if you're interested in maybe some of the more more of the content. There's tons of playthroughs. This game's been out forever. So I'm sure there's tons of playthroughs you can find of that. So I definitely recommend checking out other content creators just to get more more information on like how they played it. Maybe maybe some mods that made it easier or harder or altered things. Because that was a completely unmodded experience, and sometimes that's not always the best one. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. Done with Fallout 2.